I started using uh, drugs in uh, high school. Uh, it was like my ninth grade year. Well, 2017, uh, my parents uh, got a restraining order on me. So when I got kicked out, you know, it was all poor me, you know. And uh, so I would be calling my daughter saying, look, it was, you know, I didn't do nothing wrong. Same pattern, using drugs, going to jail, using drugs, going to jail, thought nothing was wrong with it. I felt like I was losing him as a person. Every time I saw him, it wasn't my dad anymore. In December uh, 15th, uh, I got arrested. I made the call to Patronus, and it wasn't easy for me because I didn't want him to be upset with me, but if it meant saving his life, I had to do it. The funny thing about it, when the officers put the handcuffs on my hands, um, I had a smile, and I knew my life was being saved because I knew I was going to rehab. So no matter what I was going to do, what it takes, you know, and whatever they told me to do. There was no empty promises. It was just, this is where I am, this is what they're teaching me, and he loved it. My old thoughts, or my old thinking patterns were gone. And now when I got to that graduation time and uh, just even writing a letter, reading it in front of people, that's something I didn't do. I was just too scared to do that stuff. One of the things the officer patrons told me when, when I was on drugs is she would mention my mom, you know, how much time she had and, and she would want to see me clean and sober. He was everything to her and all she ever wanted for him to do was get sober. Two months after I got home from Salvation Army that I found out she had a cancer. He got to be there with her every single day and she got to watch him blossom into the person he is today and be the son she loved so much. In July of this year, she passed away and he got to be by her side through it all. Got to spend that last year with him sober. That's all she ever wanted. It was one of the hardest things I ever had to deal with and um, in my life. But I know I was able to deal with it because, you know, of everything I've learned in my recovery, I made a promise to my mom that I'll stay clean and sober, and when it's my time to go, I'll be able to go see her and, and tell her I did it. And there's nothing that we're gonna take that away. That's something I hold on to. Uh, just being a father to my daughter and my son, it, it, it's, so rewarding because we spend so much time together. It's just so special to me, knowing that he'll be able to be there indefinitely for the rest of my life, sober and happy and living the life I always knew he deserved. My daughter is my best friend. She saved my life so many times. I found out what she did, um, uh, calling Officer Patronus and uh, it made me laugh because it's just something my daughter would do, you know. Um, but it saved my life. Probation has been amazing during this process. I can't say enough things about Officer Patronus. She has taken care of him in ways I can't even express. She's family to me. She saved my life. She cared about me when I didn't care about myself. She gave me my life. She gave me my life with my kids. She gave me my life with my mom for the time she was here. But probation, <laughs> well, it was life changing. I mean, it changed my life. Having a normal life, getting a paycheck, getting a way to take my kids out to eat, that's all good for me. You know, everything that I've gone through it ended up making me the person I am now. And uh, yeah, so I love life. I love what life has given me.